if we actually re rewind to uh, the beginning of our conversation, we talked about, uh, you mentioned something I wanted to return to. Uh, so there's, uh, there's layers that are, uh, there's an emergent novelty. And you mentioned that we as human beings and we introspect in our own mind, we really can't know most of it. Um, which of course uh, makes me think of this, uh, the unconscious mind, the subconscious mind, uh, and Carl Jung, how much is hiding there in the shadows? You've, you've uh, investigated a lot of uh, trauma. How much is there in our mind that's not directly accessible to us? Like what can you say maybe philosophically about how much is there uh, lurking in the Jungian shadow? I think there's a tremendous amount there. But I, but I wouldn't, I don't immediately go to an ominous perspective, right? Because if it's lurking there, right, it can come get us, right? And, and to some extent, that's true, right? So the, the seeds of evil are there if we want to plant and nurture them. You think good things can't lurk? <laughs> I guess so. I was, I was, I was being poetic. Yeah, right. But you're right. You're absolutely right. And the young and shadow is supposed to not just be dark things. It's supposed to be everything. It's supposed to be a lot of positive things as well. Yeah. Right. Which I think brings us to self-knowledge to truth, where I think the, the opposite of envy, narcissism, sociopathy, I, I do think is all rooted in truth. It's both the truth of the good things about us or the ways we're not we're not blamable for the blameworthy for the things we're blaming ourselves for, et cetera. But the the, the self-knowledge and the truth and and getting away from the the reflex of anger, frustration, envy, shame. What I think happens then is all of that underneath the surface. If we look at like the consciousness is the top of the iceberg, you know, outside the top. So well, outside the water. So is what's underneath like shifting and it can pull the top under, right? Or is it supporting the top? And, and it really, I believe is honesty, truth, self-knowledge, humility, gratitude, all this simple stuff, good mental health, is always consistent with simplicity. Like, you know, humility, gratitude are easy things to say. Like, we know what that is, right? We understand what that is. Soothing envy by having uh, immense power and subjugating others is getting very, very complicated, right? What that is and how that plays out. So if we are in touch with ourselves, if we're honest with ourselves, if we own what's ours, and we don't try and own what's not ours, right? What happens then is something isn't waiting inside of us to, to sort of jump us with some new... Uh, fact of self or challenge of self, right? Then I think what, what happens are phenomena like intrinsic learning, like the way that so much happens inside of us automatically, right? How people who have high levels of expertise know the answer to complex questions more rapidly, right? It doesn't take them longer to think through it, but they have more knowledge to think through. It's that more happens rapidly and unconsciously. So they know the more complex answer more quickly and readily, right? And we can build that in ourselves, not just in terms of factual knowledge, but in terms of how we respond to things, right? If 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 I make a mistake, do I respond with reflexive shame, right? If I see someone has something I'd like, how, how do I respond? We're more in accord with ourselves, and then the automaticity in us is is serving us better. So that's in the positive. Do you think, do you draw some wisdom from the, the early pioneers uh, of uh, psychotherapy like Freud and and Jung. Yes. That there's some repressed, uh, there's some stuff to work through that mm -hmm. is in uh, the unconscious mind. Yes, I think there's always like 100% of the time, if you have a living human, you have things to work through in the unconscious mind, right? There's too much that goes on around us that we might find unacceptable and suppress, right? There can be, smaller but important examples, right? Someone who um, feels that they're not a good enough parent and they, I don't know, they drop the child's plate, right? And um, and there's a feeling about that of badness in them that the person that like, can't tolerate and pushes away, right? And maybe they become a little bit less confident, a little bit less assertive. Like those small examples are important because they may be low valence, but there can be many, 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 many of them, right? Then you can look at the opposite end of the spectrum where someone, for example, feels, oh, they have to, they're, they're repressing their sexuality, right? It, uh, unconsciously, it's something that is, 
so important, say, to how a person feels about themselves, to whether they can seek fulfillment, to how they feel about their ability to interact and engage with others in ways that are loving and generative over time. So, so from smaller things that accumulate often at a rapid pace to really big things, we are pushing things into the unconscious because they're not acceptable. And we need to explore, like, well, why is that not accept? Maybe there's an unacceptable urge because it's really not acceptable to me right? Like a violent urge. Maybe there's an unacceptable urge because I'm actually listening to the lie society is telling me about what's okay and what's not okay, right? So in exploring those things, yes, we become happier and healthier. And that could mean if we're already happier and health, happy and healthy, it gets better. We get more insulated against the negative. Or it can mean the person who's really nurturing some of those seeds of, of evil and envy does that less or steps away from it. So whether it's good or it's bad, it's, it's in there inside of us and we benefit from understanding that idea of the observing ego, right? Like we said, the part that can stop and say, hey, this is what's, this is what I see what's going on in me.